Hey, good evening, welcome. Steph, how you doing? Anne, lovely to see you. I hope uh, the wee dog is feeling so much better now. Uh, so much love to you. Hi, Diane. Jennifer, all the way from Portland. Big hug. Hope Flick is doing well. Here we are, six o'clock, Thursday, as per usual. Live meditation with yours truly. And before we go there, I would just like to dive in with a quick announcement. Hi, Steph. Lovely smiley to you too. Hey, Suzanne, Christia, and yes, oh, lots of hearts there. I'm so happy, and that's great. Hi, Christia. Big wave to Suzanne. Hope, you, hope your legs are much better <laughs> for that marathon. Linda, welcome. Welcome, my dear, all the way from the UK. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? Big, big hug. Welcome to the Thursday, as, as regular as clockwork, isn't it? Hi, Voltar, how are you doing? Oh, my goodness. And even from LA. I, <laughs> I'm sorry. Lismus initials LA. I knew your name once. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Elka, very warm welcome. Okay, so let's all get settled. We're here for do some meditation. We've got 20 minutes. We're going to connect to our spark. Yeah, and that kind of puts me into the uh, announcement for the next upcoming online course with yours truly, The Drunken Monk, is your soul's purpose. Your soul's purpose. And that's going to be from November 29th until December the 11th. It's going to be two weeks. All the links are in the bio as per usual. And what I'm thrilled about is the amazing video that Veronica made. So if you haven't seen the video yet, please check it out. And I thought, you know, why not use that as a theme for today's meditation? So I'm going to read to you the, the story that inspired, or actually we were, it didn't inspire the course, but I had this, I wrote this narrative about, you know, the spark within us all. And Veronica did some research and found this incredible story. So I'm going to read it to you, okay? So get settled. Nice deep breath. Ah, bedtime story time, you know? <laughs> that kind of cozy feeling. It's the end of the day. It can let go of all those stories and all that stuff that's going on. Just have a shake. Breathe it out. Relax here. We're now in this virtual sanctuary. The drunken tribe is in meditation. Okay. So park all those worries elsewhere, and cozy up and listen. So, let's play, said the god Maya to the god Brahma. Then she cut him into a thousand teeny tiny pieces and put these divine sparks into every single human being. Now the game begins, says Maya. I am going to make you forget what you are and you are going to try and find yourself. It's so true, isn't it? It's so true. Who am I? Why am I here? And for me personally, I found nothing more fulfilling in, in my life than to know who I am and why I'm here, and to get answers to those questions that really are within us all. And what's amazing is the answers may not be what you expect, but it's certainly worthwhile reaching out and experiencing them. Okay. So what I'd like to invite you to do now is just reflect on that story, that divine spark that each and every single one of us as this divine spark within us, the spark of divinity, whatsoever that may mean for you. So what I want you to do now is connect with the body and the breath, being grounded, present and open as usual, clearing the mind by bringing your focus to your breathing and allowing the breath to draw your attention into your body, connecting with your body, and then to the present moment. Connecting to the here and now. And then, 
imagine or feel a divine spark that is within you, because it's there. Maya put it there, the goddess Maya. Maybe like a spark in, in your heart, in your chest. Or you may feel it in your solar plexus or your third eye. It doesn't matter. Wherever you feel it, probably the heart is a nice place to place it. But it's up to you. It's your spark. It never goes away. It never dies. It's immortal. It's always within you. So think about that for a moment. What does that mean to know that it's always there? You don't have to go looking for it. You don't have to strive for it. You don't need to make any effort. It is you, your divinity. And just with each breath, Feel that energy and aliveness nourishing that spark. So as you breathe in, it's like when you blow on a fire, you know, and it gets brighter. And the flames start to, in, uh, start to dance and to become alive. And my feeling is that when we give attention to that divinity within us, it starts to enliven it becomes bigger. So let's try. Let's see if that's true. So wherever you have your divine spark, whether it's an image or a feeling, hold your focus there. So when you breathe in, your, your oxygen is giving life to that spark, giving energy to it. It becomes a little bit bigger. And as you breathe out, this feeling of expansion, giving space for that divine spark to ignite and to catch fire a little bit more. So continue with that for three or four breaths, breathing in, fanning the flame of your divinity and breathing out this feeling of expansion, giving space to the God, the Goddess within you to expand. And just stay with that. Don't let your mind come in with comments or judgments or criticisms. Just put them to the side. Just have fun with it. Now the game begins, remember? Let's play, said the goddess Maya. Play the game. Don't take it too seriously. But at the same time, really feel, connect to that aliveness within you. And be open to whatsoever arises, their thoughts and feelings but really feeling that God, that goddess within you. Maybe you get a feeling of some kind of color or dress, or how does it feel to be immortal, to be divinity? How does it feel to be a goddess, to be a God? What are you wearing? What do you see around you? Let your imagination loose. Play with it. But the whole time, staying with that flow of breath, so you're not moving too much into the imagination. You're still grounded in the present moment, still feeling that connection to the body. That nice rhythm. And this is grace. Grace arises from a steady rhythm where there's a calm, a stillness, a serenity, purity. So the breath flows in, and there's a gap, 
that stillness when you're neither breathing in nor out and then you as you breathe out the feeling of expansion release letting go and then another moment of stillness at the end of the out breath before you start breathing in that gap that transcendent moment of just silence So let's play, said the goddess Maya, putting a divine spark in every human being, and that includes you. We all have this divinity, we all have this potential, this aliveness, this feeling of being something more than simply a body. Now the game begins. So who are you? Who am I? This question. You've heard me say that so many times, and I know many of you have already experienced it. But staying connected to that spark that longing, what does it feel like for you? And to breathe and to flow, to open your heart, your mind, to connect to this feeling of aliveness, Being here now without any stress, without any resistance. You are this goddess. You are this God. You are unique. Alive. Full of love, joy, gratitude creativity, power, the juice of life comes from this spark. So hold it in your attention, hold your focus there with every breath. Let those feelings, let those qualities fill you. Play the game. Notice the aliveness of each breath, the beauty of it. This feeling of grace. The beauty of the world around you. The sounds, the gift of hearing, the gift of sight, touch. The creative power that we all have. The potential. So feel the grace of it, the joy of it. To make a commitment to honor that, that part of you, every single day. So whenever the mind comes in with a complaint or a resistance, or I get grumpy or angry, you have that choice. Now I'm going to connect to my divine spark. I'm not going to move into that space of suffering. I will not tolerate it. Why should I? I'm a goddess. I'm a God, and you are. So 
rest in that part of you that is alive and is aware. It doesn't exist in the past. It doesn't exist in the future. Whenever we move into those places, that's where suffering arises. Don't tolerate that. Let go of that nonsense. Find your way. Play the game your way. So that you remember what you are. That you find who you are. That you know who you are. And in that moment, this deep, peaceful comfort arises. The joy of being. Rest there for a moment. Just in this, from a minute silence of stillness. And just feel. So thank you so much for joining the virtual sanctuary for another lovely session. It was my pleasure and honor to serve you today. And remember that space, your divine spark is always there. Isn't that cool? <laughs> thank you, Christian. I loved it. I loved it. You loved it. Yes, indeed. Have a lovely evening, my dear. You too, Walter. Lovely to see you. Play the game my way. Absolutely, Suzanne. <laughs> this is... Why not? Get the game of life, right? Maya means illusion, actually, in Sanskrit. Play the game. Thank you so much, Anne. Big hug to you, Linda. Ella Kay, thank you too, my dear. So glad that you enjoyed it. Tareen, lovely to see you. I hope you're doing well in Venice. I was there in the summer, beautiful city. Jennifer, big hug. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much. Diane, thank you. And thank you, uh, Lee's Muse, I'm sorry, I have, to, I have to check out what your name is. Initials LA, I know what your name is. <laughs> we'll find out for next week. G Mantra, big hug to you. Hi, Sylvia, thank you. Yeah, lovely to, I hope things are going well for you in Portugal. And wish you all the best. Okay, guys, take care. So much love. Namaste, Gaso. I will see you in the next session. Okay, thank you. Take care.